So what is one big lesson that you think the rest of the marketing industry can learn from Hollywood's example of how to market? That's an interesting question. I think that more often than not, uh, the rest of the marketing world feels that Hollywood has an unfair advantage because they have these movie stars and they have these exciting products and if you're selling detergent or tires it's hard to get people excited. I think that what Hollywood what entertainment marketing has to learn is as important as what the rest of them have to learn, the rest of the industry verticals, which is that at this point, and we've been hearing this for years with the rise of social, the old command and control where the marketer speaks and the consumer listens is largely, if slowly, being eroded by conversational marketing, by the need to listen to what people are coming up with. And the wearables are starting to help enable people to send different different kinds of signals out to the universe, some of which uh, marketers are authorized to pick up. So I actually think that uh, because Hollywood people, because entertainment marketers have such compelling products, that they're not as good at listening as other verticals have been, that they'll need to be because the explosion of new signals that's going to be coming from uh, all of the different things we were talking about before with the wearables, with the automation, with the Internet of Things, that that's going to make listening to be an even more compelling and urgent requirement.